one of the greatest affirmations was when my youngest daughter said, I'm so glad I went to the student house. And this is with, on the other side of her wakening in the middle of the night with a mouse running across her pillow and the cockroaches being so plentiful, you know, it was just really hard for her because we never had encountered cockroaches before. And that was the hardest, one of the hardest things I did was convincing her to stay in the student house. She wanted to come home after that. Her friend Darcy um, Greenwald had just left the student house at that time. They had started together, they had known each other in Nebraska, and then Darcy left and went back to live with her parents. So that combined with the mouse running across the pillow was almost too much. And that's one of the hardest times I had talking her in to stay, because I also wanted her to come home at that point. But um, as far as regrets, oh, I was going to tell, she said, Mom, if I had stayed in Lincoln, I, the kids I was running with before I went to Chicago all got into drugs. They were making messes of their lives, and I probably would have been riding there with them. So she was grateful having gone to be in the student house. So that was a real affirmation. And um, my second, my oldest child is a son, and then my oldest daughter wasn't a part of the student house, but after graduating from high school said she didn't really want to go to college right away, had been a straight-A student and didn't want to hop right back into another academic situation. And I said, there are lots of ways to learn, and going to school is only one of them. And so she took off for India for a year, went to the academy in Brussels, the very last academy that was taught in Brussels. I could tell she was hesitant to leave to go, and I said, what's going on? And she said, I don't know whether I want to go to India or not. I said, you don't have to decide about going to India. Make the first decision to go to Brussels. And if while you're there, you decide you want to go on to India, that's fine. You can do that. People there will help you. If not, turn around and come back after the Brussels experience. You decide. Well, while she was over there, she met other people who were going to be going on to India. And so she did decide to go. So she left in June right after her 18th birthday, and I didn't see her until the next April. That was a long time. Talk about it feeling of emptiness in the pit of your stomach when you send your kid off on an airplane, knowing you won't see them for almost a year. 